Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and we're at SHOT Show 2017. We spent a day out at the range and now we're out on the floor looking at all kinds of gear. We're looking at bushcraft knives, survival knives, folding knives, flashlights, packs, and so much more. I want to give a big shout out to Thrunite who helped make this trip possible. Now let's head out onto the floor and see what they have for us. What's up guys? Tim here with Chris again from SOG. You saw us out at the range. Yep. Now we're going to be talking about multi-tools. Yeah. And we we're have, not throwing things. We're not, well, if it gets bad, if the, if the discussion gets bad, we're gonna start throwing things. Okay. But I doubt that's gonna actually happen. Um, so we've got like one, two, three, four. We got like five or six new multi tools yep. and a kind of a, a new spin on the multi tool. Yeah, two it's, new spins. Okay, so you're gonna be really intrigued by this. Last year they had uh, a handful of new multi tools with a new kind of look and feature, and this is they're doing it again. So yep. I'm gonna flip to the other side of the camera. Let's do this. Cheers. All right, so the new multi tools we have for 2017, we got two categories of multi tools. They're taking a unique spin on what traditionally the multi-tool looks like. So I'm going to just get right into it and we'll just start talking about them. First one here, this is called the Sync 1. There's two of them. There's the Sync 1 and the Sync 2. And you look at it and it's like, that's kind of cool. It's got this little clip here. You got a little dangly doodad and some other stuff. So really what this is, it's a multi-tool that's on a removable base and the base works as a belt clip. So if you take this little post off and this little hasp off, use it as a, a belt clip, clip it on your belt, clip it on your backpack webbing, anywhere you want to clip it. If you were to take these little two screws out and leave the post and this on, you can use it as a belt buckle. So you just need like a leather belt, flip it through here, a little post, stick the post through the hole there. But what's nice is you flip it over, the little black button right there, push that down, slide it over, the tool comes off the base. Base stays on the buckle so your pants don't fall down if you have to use the tool. <laughs> Nice little safety feature for people around you. <laughs> so, tool, we've got some little inch marks on there. That unfolds, the little arms unfold, so you get full size handles. It's a fairly compact plier head, but it's still very nice. You can grab some things like you got a little cutter head there, you got a crimper right there as well. Folds back up, and you've got on the inside here, you've got a file, bottle opener, screwdriver. This, right, this screwdriver right here is the screwdriver you use to remove the pocket clip or the, the nub here. So the tool to fix the clip is built into the multi-tool. So it's, it's all contained right there. These are just a little slip joint, just locks, a little snap friction fit. And on the opposite side here, we have a knife blade and an awl. Pretty cool little compact tool, it's nice. Slides right in, there's a little indent there, a little indent on the back. Slide it on there, locks on. Super secure, not gonna fall off. Sync one is a 49, sync two is a 59. Sync two is very similar. Same process, you push the button, slide it off. This one adds a couple extra tools. So you still have the knife blade and the file. You also have a straight blade screwdriver, as well as scissors. It's kind of nice, get a little bit of little scissors in there. On the sink too, the tools actually lock into place, and there's a little trick to unlocking them, that there's this black component on each side. There's on this side, on this side, there's that black component among the tools. You pull this up about halfway, it releases the lock bar, so you can close it. So otherwise, when you open it up, scissors are locked in, they don't collapse. If I pull this up, then when you're done, Snap back onto the base, away you go. So that's the sink two. Next one we're gonna look at here. This is called the Baton Series. And we uh, we were looking at multi-tools and like, how do we do something that's not been done before, something innovative, something that kind of redefines the way, the form factor and the way you carry a multi-tool. So what we've come with is the Baton, the Q1 through Q4. And I'm gonna start with the Q1 right here. And it's a hard anodized aluminum handle got a little pocket clip on it. This one right here, the Q1, you have a retractable ballpoint pen. And in case, I know everybody's gonna ask, it is a easily found replacement size. So you can go to Office Depot or Staples or whatever office supply store you wanna go to and find an off the shelf replacement for this. It's really, really easy to replace that. So if the ink runs out, you don't have to throw the whole thing away. Uh, right here, you've got a bottle opener and a flat blade screwdriver. And if you look at them, you see it's got this bicolor sort of angle slash there. So what you do, you just pull it apart, 
opens up and you've got a spring-loaded pair of scissors there. So this is the baton Q1 and then closing it, kind of rotate it. There's a little line right there. So you kind of go over center, slide it together. So Q1, Q2, same form factor, slightly longer size, but what you get is the same bottle opener screwdriver. You've got a 75 lumen flashlight there that runs on a AAA battery. So it's not some weird watch battery or anything like that. It's just a AAA battery. Find it at the drugstore. You can probably find it right next to the pin refill. So <laughs> two, for one. two for one. Um, and then you look on this other side, you got this little red dot right there. And the trick to it is you hold it and you push that like you're moving that dot to 10 o'clock on a watch or a clock. So it's just like that, slide it over. This opens up and you've got a, a knife blade there. Got, got a nice little grip on it. It's pretty cool. And then it locks, locks securely closed there. Third one, kind of an updated, upsized version of the Q1 getting more closer to our traditional multi-tool. You have components on the outboard axis here, so you have a knife blade, a file, bottle opener, kit opener, little nail nicks here that you can use to, I just trimmed my nails so they're a little short. <laughs> but you get the components out, so you got that. This side you have an eyeglass screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, but the, uh, the one thing that's really fun on this one that when we were doing it, I wasn't 100% sold on, but now that I see it, it's kind of cool. We had a little chisel pry bar in there. And it's sharp, you can use that little scraper. When I was out at the range on, I don't know what day it was, the other day, out at the show, I had a guy showing this to him and he's like, you know what I can use that for? Scraping the stickers off the inside of my car window that my kids put on there. <laughs> oh, a million uses. Yep, so all the components lock into place, you just push down on the lock bar there, rotate it back into the coast position. And then, just like the Q1, slides open, You've got spring-loaded pliers there, and then I just kind of rotate like that. So, Q3, and then Q4 comes in this nifty leather at kind of case. It's got some magnets in it, hold it closed, and it unrolls, and then, so you got the Q4 here. So the Q4 at is very similar to the Q3, and you have, you have your multi-tool components, a knife blade, a file, a bottle opener, a can opener. On the opposite end, though, you have this hex bit, quarter inch hex bit holder, but it's got a uh, quarter inch hex bit ratchet driver there. So you can flip direction, go counterclockwise or clockwise. It's right there on that center axis. As well as you have a 12, 12 different hex bit carrier there. So you've got some Phillips, some straight blade, you got a hex and torques in there as well. And if you have some custom ones you need, you can obviously flip, flip these out because these are the standard size hex bits. And then the last nice thing we have about this, if you don't want to use this, but you don't want these to get separated, you can ditch that and go, got magnets on it, store them together. So, so that's the Q4. That's our baton series. Those are our super awesome multi-tools for 2017. There's information on our website at sognives.com and they should be out there soon. Thanks. All right, SHOT Show day two, and I want to talk to you about this, which is the Through Night Archer 2A V3, this is my EDC for the day. So your settings, 0 0.2, 17, 75, and 500. You got the end pressure switch, and then your selector switch right there. This definitely is a slightly larger light than the other ones I've used, but I do like this one a lot. I like it because it does have that end switch to really quickly turn it on, and then when you want to adjust it to something lower, you can do that as well. There also is a strobe feature on this light as well. So cool light takes two AA batteries and for around $30 I think you're getting a lot of punch so to have a light like this that runs off only two AA's and to have 500 lumens output is quite impressive you can see it does have a pocket clip and about that much about the pocket clip is going to be sticking out of your pocket I wear this with a pair of jeans and it fits in it just fine as you can see the diameter of this is also a bit bigger than the TI4 or the TI5 so if you want something a bit bigger than those lights I encourage you to check out the Through Night Archer 2A V3 I put links down below if you want to purchase this light over on Amazon. Thanks as always for checking out the videos and more are coming soon. Take care. What? You want to talk about, you want to talk about glasses? <laughs> Fancy. The fashionable? Oakley. All right. <laughs> Let's go in the outtakes. Let's go right in the beginning. <laughs>